Hey guys, this is Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on iWebKit. And I'm going to show you how to basically edit by um, editing a few simple strings to make a web page, both mobile and on your computer. So this was requested by a user on Twitter, and as you can see right here, the iLife repo is um, using this. It's very simple. All you have to do is really cut out a few things with their um, design. So iWebKit is free, and um, you're just going to want to download it. So uh, we got downloader here, and I just downloaded the latest version. I'll leave a link to download it in the description. So right here, iWebKit, it comes with, um, of course, the framework, which is images, CSS, and all that, and then the full demo. So what I usually like to start with is the actual um, the change log because it's simple text, but um, I'm going to show you the full um, thing. So right here, you can see this is their um, full um, template. Basically, you can use this um, however you like. So you can see that they have a few implementations of getting RSS feeds and um, stuff like that. And you can see that the computer's being held up right here. Okay, and you can see right here, it loads this. This is from um, iTunes, which is really cool. And you can actually play this. And you can see that you can actually play um, music within an application within Safari so it's really good and how you can implement everything and this is within HTML what I usually like to use as the template to just edit for say my iLife repo is this change log right here so basically with this change log you can edit attack the text right here edit the text down here and there you go you have a website and also up here you can delete that and you can just change everything so I'm going to be showing you how to do that with the changelog HTML though you have much more to um, you can change much more like this form the classic everything so what you're going to want to do is open that um, folder that you downloaded and you're going to want to go into iWebKit demo so um, we're going to be using the changelog so Let's just pull the change log HTML right there. We'll create a new folder and we're just going to call it change log. And we put that in there. And now we're also going to want to take the framework. So we're just going to bring all this framework right into here. Um, besides this index.html file, you do not actually need that. So, um, very simple, you're going to want to change the changelog to index.html file so that that's your main file. So, um, from here, now this will just display the simple page and um, it'll be the changelog. To actually edit it, you're going to want an HTML editor. Dreamweaver is the best because it shows the live view, but I'm going to show you it with one of these simple HTML editors. So, as you can see, if you open up um, H the uh, index.html file in a simple one you see a bunch of uh, HTML coding in all this. It looks complicated, it actually really is not. What you're going to want to change is a few things. Um, so let's just get started. You're going to see all this right here. Um, iWebKit devil. This is at the top and you're going to want to change sample for video. So that changes the string. This is what Google finds when it um, looks for it. And um, you do not really need that. You can change that to whatever you want, keywords and all that. I'm going to just leave that because it's not necessary for me in this video. Over here, the change log, it allows you to um, change the title at the top. I'll sh actually show you that. It's this title right here. So we're just going to do that um, sample for video. Now I usually shake, um, I take out the try button, which is right here. Um, the 
actually I show you it's this right here so you can see that you um, usually want to take that out unless you're doing a bigger website but it's all very simple once you understand how it works so all of it is very simple so we're just going to delete this try button and now um, if we save and we go back to Safari refresh and you can see that sample for video is deleted we just want to delete this little div right there and we change that oh yeah if it would uh, we gotta save and then refresh so now it's just very simple so over here you can see more basically it's just a series of strings in iWebKit and you can just change it to your liking so we're gonna do um, sample for video and um, this string right here we're going to change that as well so we're going to do for the video sake we are going to change that to oops don't want to delete too much and we're just going to please like comment and subscribe so you can see right there and we just save that and we refresh the page and it changes right here again we go down to here and this is all page items um, you could do list or you can just do a simple um, paragraph so we're gonna hi like this video hope this helps and um, that's already closed so all you really have to do is edit a series of strings so that's very simple <laughs> okay <laughs> And down here, you can see um, it has the Powered by iWebKit. You're probably going to want to change that and say uh, make it say something else. So we're going to take the string, and we're going to make it iOS for life. And um, let's make sure that's right. And then right here, HTTP, this is the link that it goes to. And you just change that. Basically, when you're using iWebKit, it's just changing a series of strings inside the HTML. It may look hard, but it's actually really, really simple. So, um, that was just a simple um, showing how to edit with iWebKit. Now, next, I'll show you how to um, put it right into your FTP with your website. Okay, and one last thing before we go how to upload it to your um, server you're going to want to change your home um, on the home image which is right there you're going to want to change that to say a link so I'm going to show you how to do that so right here you got the top bar um, it's fairly simple the top bar the left nav and now it's defining what it is um, so where it goes and um, very simple you're going to want to change the href so you're going to want to change that to a link which is very simple or you can change it to a file on the directory or on the server so you can just do php which is another file on the um, server or in this little spot we can change it to http any website you want so we're just going to change it to iOSforlife.com, save, and um, now that home button will link to your website or whatever the home was. So that's that, and the next clip we will go over how to put it on your server. Okay, and now that you are in your FTP, you're going to want to go to the directory that you're going to um, put the website in. So in this case, I just made a change slash change on the iOSforlife.com. And you can see right here, we have the index.html file, the CSS, images, JavaScript, PHP, and thumbs. All this is um, 
CSS images, all that. That is just a framework, and the index.html file is the actual file that we just edited. So all you want to do is just drag that into your FTP client or the root of your server, and um, basically it just sets it up. So as you can see right here, we just uh, load that page, iwasforlife.com slash change, and here is the um, website. So if you want to know how to get free um, web hosting, um, for iwasforlife.com I have a paid web hosting, but for free ho web hosting I would suggest 000webhost.com. Right here you can get free um, web hosting. You got some pretty decent stats for free, and um, so yeah, just uh, leave that in the description, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you.